This is Neil Battaglia from neilands.com. Let's check out the physics of speeding tickets. So we're going to look at energy conversion, friction, and skid marks, and figure out how we can derive the velocity using the length of the skid marks and the coefficient of friction. So here's the Batmobile from 1966. It weighs about 5,500 pounds. And we're going to say it's going along the road and it sees a speed limit sign of 45 miles an hour. If we convert that, which you can use Google or a conversion factor, we find that it's about 20.12 meters per second. If we see that the car stops and there are skid marks of 40 meters, we can see how we convert the kinetic energy, the translational kinetic energy, into the work done by friction. So the kinetic energy is going to be equal to 1 half mv squared, 1 half times the mass times the velocity squared. And the work due to friction is going to be equal to the force due to friction dotted with the distance. That's a dot product, but since the angle is going to be 0 degrees, it's going to reduce to the force of friction multiplied by a distance. So the force due to friction is going to be equal to mu sub k, which is the coefficient for kinetic friction multiplied by the normal force. So that's going to be equal to mu sub k times m times g. All of the energy that the car has in kinetic energy is going to be converted to the work done by friction because the car is going to stop. The kinetic energy minus the work done by friction is going to be equal to zero because the car stops. It's converting all the kinetic energy into heat. So therefore, 1 half mv squared is going to be equal to mu sub k times m times g times d. We see the mass in both sides of the equations, so we can divide that out. And then we can multiply both sides by 2 to get that v squared, the velocity squared, is equal to 2 times mu sub k times g times d. And that's g, the magnitude of gravity. Therefore, v is equal to the square root of 2 times mu sub k times g times d. If we plug in the numbers, with mu sub k being about 0 0.7 for tires on dry cement, uh, 9.8, being the value for gravity and the distance of 40 meters, we get that the velocity is approximately equal to 23.4 meters per second. If we compare that to the speed limit and use SI units for both, we see that this is above the speed limit of 45 miles an hour.